Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to yet another edition of the Pure Digital Passion Podcast with me, Moses Kemibaro. Today, we're doing an unboxing, the first in a long time, to be honest, and we're going to be unboxing none other than the Galaxy Z Fold 6 from Samsung. I actually was able to do the Fold 5 last year, and I used that for a couple of weeks. You might have seen the review on my website. But more importantly, we get an opportunity to unbox this fantastic phone, which last year, again, in the previous edition, we made fun of as being one of the most expensive phones you can buy in the country. Currently, in this case, retailing for about 215,000 shillings. For me, I think the Z Fold 6 and its predecessors present an incredible device that you can use for work and play, but more importantly, with the form factor of having an outer screen and also inner screen with incredible improvements made since last year's edition. So let's have a look and see exactly what's in this new device, what comes with it, and in about a week or so, we'll get to do a fully comprehensive review and see what is interesting about this Samsung, which I think in particular is good for the busy business executive, but also for the content creator who wants something that's a little bit different. And one thing to also mention is that this device uh, comes with additional features that we haven't seen in previous Samsungs. More importantly, earlier in the year, we know that Samsung launched uh, the various ranges of the uh, Galaxy uh, S24. And I happen to also use the Ultra, which obviously came with Galaxy AI. So this device also has those features. It also has on-device AI features built right into the chip. And this really represents the future in terms of what we can expect from Samsung in terms of their most cutting edge and premium devices. So let's get right into it and get to see exactly what Samsung has in store with the Galaxy Z Fold 6, as it were. So one thing I really like about the back is that it's very easy to open. You don't have to use any knives or box cutters. You can just sort of pull this strip away. And this really makes it much simpler. Also to note, I think the actual box is quite small, as you can see. And we'll just flip it over and get a sense of exactly what we have underneath. So immediately, um, we can see that it's actually open in terms of we're seeing the outer screen and the camera module at the end and side. Uh, we'll just pull it out of the box to also get a sense of what else is going on here. Um, no cables, no extra bits and pieces in here, so we get to see exactly what it looks like. Uh, personally, I like this color. This is a phone that was given to me by Samsung, so I have the opportunity then to just uh, remove uh, this screen cover, protective cover. And also, we get to take the one off the screen. So relatively simple, relatively easy to do. Now, as you get to the device, um, some of the things that I'll notice immediately when I look at it is much square, uh, squared off compared to the previous generation. We also see that uh, we have this lovely sort of light blue color with the device. And one thing I can already tell you is that it definitely feels a lot sort of thinner than last year's model. And as I sort of close it, I think immediately I'm getting a sense that the hinge uh, feels a lot stronger uh, than what we had last year. And I think also from what I can see here, the bezel also on the sides looks uh, significantly thinner to me. But ultimately, this looks a little bit more, um, possibly the word might be masculine. I think we look at the hinge over here, we can also see that it does look a bit thinner. But definitely the thing that I think catches my attention is it's a lot more squared off than uh, the previous generation being the, the Fold 5. So I'm just going to power it up and hopefully it comes on. Okay, there we go. Uh, and immediately you can see that it's loading up. And I must say that even though this is somewhat slightly refined from the previous edition, it definitely feels um, a lot lighter. And at the same time, it just feels a bit more solid to me. And then we have the opening screen. So I'm just gonna uh, pick up English. I think I usually go with the English UK. Uh, I'm gonna click on start. Uh, there's the end license agreement. I'm just gonna agree to all of them. Uh, one thing I think also immediately I can tell you is that when I look at the screen, uh, looks very crispy, um, also looks very bright. Uh, and also there's an easy setup option. So I'm just gonna click on setup manually for purposes of this. Um, then there's the Wi-Fi network. I'm just going to add uh, the network using my own phone. Uh, one thing I'm really liking is the haptics. Get the feedback from the phone. And there we go. So now that we're connected, um, it's giving me a service provider option. And then I think another thing that becomes very clear to me is that just, you know, just the way that it folds open, it just feels like it's a completely flat, almost nearly complete flat feeling, just the way it looks. 
Um, and as it boots up, we get a chance now to fully log in. Again, a little surprising, the packaging was so minimal, no cables, no extra bits and pieces, uh, just the phone really. Uh, but of course, most of us have, you know, cables and the likes already. And of course, um, we know that Samsung is very big on, you know, sustainability. But as that comes on, maybe we can also just have a look at the external screen. Um, I'm going to just say that I'm going to set it up later. Again, as it falls, it just feels much lighter. It feels much flatter the way it closes up. It just feels more solid than last year's model. Um, and I think just to mention again, this has uh, Victus 2 Gorilla Glass, I think both front and back, so it's very strong. And I've actually purchased a case that I'm going to use with this so that I can also use the S Pen. Um, I'm not going to copy anything as yet. I just want to sort of get a sense of some of the features and the functionalities. I'll eventually just do everything else as required, except... Uh, then, of course, just the different uh, things that you can use to just ensure security. And, of course, as I'm doing this, I can always switch back to the main screen, or the inner screen for that matter. And I'll set all these things up later. I'll skip them for now. I'm going to just say yes to everything. And uh, I'm going to go the light mode. I kind of prefer that generally. And um, all set up. So that didn't take too long. I'm going to do all the features. And, and yeah, definitely, of course, the signature uh, Samsung uh, tone there. I'm just going to ratchet up the screen completely. And you can see just how incredibly bright. This thing actually has 2,600 nits. Uh, meaning that's significantly brighter than last model. And I think if you look also at the outer screen, you will see that it's just as bright as well. Um, also interesting to note is just um, as you look through the different apps that are available here, I'm going to really customize this over the next few days. Uh, but yeah, it does feel a little, um, well, quite a bit similar to the, um, the Fold 5. Um, but it'll be interesting to just see all the different features and capabilities that come with it. I'm really keen to see um, how the uh, Galaxy AI works on this particular device. And more importantly, just get a complete sense of, you know, what's possible. I'm going to just see if I can just use some of the existing apps to get a sense of uh, things like browsing. I'm just going to open um, the browser here. And let's go to, well, of course, I'll use my own website. And I'm just going to open that for a sec here. Yeah. It's always interesting the way it takes so many steps to just set up a phone. You just want to open something. But yeah, in this case, it's it's asking me all these things. Uh, got it. So let's open. Um, I'm just going to open my website here. Rather for my blog. Um, and immediately you can see the way the, you know, Keyboard splits. Um, let's do this properly. And uh, yeah, there's a blog. I'm just going to accept. Yeah, it looks really crisp, very bright. Um, and at the end, you just see the form factor. This is essentially a tablet for all intents and purposes. Let's see how that looks on the exterior screen as well. Just open that up. Uh, we can also open the same browser and we can see how it looks in the typical um, smartphone format. So again, very seamless in terms of how you transition from the inner to the outer screen. Um, again, we can see the camera module here. We've got the three different cameras that we can use. Um, we can go into a little more details when we do the full review. But again, um, for anyone using this to create content, you do get a lot of the same features that you'd expect in something like the uh, the Samsung Ultra uh, 24, the Galaxy 24. Um, but generally, and of course, you have the underscreen camera, which you can also see over here. But more importantly, I think, you know, for anyone who needs a device that allows them to do a lot of things as they discovered last year with the 5, um, you know, I remember an instance when I was in a meeting and my laptop died and I actually was able to use uh, the Fold 5 to continue the meeting, continue the presentation as if I would have used a laptop. Also, another interesting thing is if you lay it down, uh, you can also use it almost like a keyboard. 
um, you can browse and you can open up different features below. Uh, again, giving you that feeling or the ability to uh, utilize it in a way that takes full consideration of the form factor. Um, so in a nutshell, um, that's the Galaxy um, Z Fold 6 just got into the Kenyan market starting at about 215,000 shillings. This particular model has about 512 GB of memory. Uh, it also comes with 12 uh, GB of RAM. Uh, and more importantly, this is the most current and most modern fold from Samsung uh, with all the latest features, including Galaxy AI, uh, also Gemini from Google as well is also on this device. And over the coming week, I'll be using it extensively and making it my daily driver. And hopefully from that process, you'll be able to see whether or not this is the right device for you. So thank you very much for joining us for this podcast today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to catching you in about a week when we can have a full comprehensive review of this phone. Thank you so much. So I actually thought there was nothing else in the box and turns out there was something at the bottom. So this is a really tightly packed box. It looks like there's some accessories here, possibly the instruction manual or something. So I'm just going to open this up. Again, very elegant, very light packaging. I know that Samsung is big on sustainability. So they are making sure that, you know, everything is, you know, as efficient as possible. And yeah, we do actually at least get this wonderful cable. I love the black color. Fantastic. Um, we do have the quick start guide as well. And also we have the, um, the SIM toolkit, uh, which obviously we use for loading up our SIM cards into the device. So in a nutshell, I, I thought this wasn't actually part of the pack, but it was. And it's just that it's so fantastically packed and very compact and again over the next few uh, days and the coming week i'll be using the device but yeah at least it's very nice to see that at least we do get a cable and a few things as well so yeah looking forward to sharing the review with you guys uh take a look at it when it comes up and yeah i hope you have a fantastic experience with the new um z fold 6 from samsung we'll catch you in the next one